Hey there. I wanted to spend some time just connecting with you as I wander around Singapore here. I decided to allow myself to get lost once again uh, today, and it's just one of those things where every once in a while, at least like once a week, once every other week, I like to just start walking and start walking in a direction and see whatever I can see. And so you're now on the, the road with me. Go ahead and flip this around so you can see what I'm seeing. Um, I just started walking what I believe is north. So I will be honest, I will say that since I've come to Singapore, I've been directionally challenged. And I think part of the reason for that is that when I think I'm headed in one direction, things start to curve around. And it's very funny because Nicole by and Nicole's really great at um, understanding where things are relative to the Singapore River. Uh, for me, I'm like a landmark person. So I'm looking up over here. I'm seeing the Novotel building and going forward, I'm like, okay, we're, I go into Novotel or the Raffles Secondary School that's over here. You know, like that, now, now that's my new, that's my new benchmark. And I just thought it was like really interesting because on a given day, we both experience the same thing. We both have the same maps. We both have the same um, opportunities to, you know, kind of go forth and see how things are, but we look at it with completely different lenses. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna make a turn here because I feel like it just might be quieter down this street. Um, and this is literally how getting lost <laughs> happens. Uh, Nicole, if you're watching this, you are you know where I am. Come find me, come save me at some point. Yeah, this is why I love you. <laughs> um, but, but uh, you know, what, what's coming to mind is just like generally just, how two people can look at the same thing and see it so differently. Uh, and neither of them is right, neither of them is wrong, uh, but it, it just it just is, it just is uh, what exists. Um, and something that, that gets me here is um, a couple weeks ago, I, I watched the video with uh, Derek Sivers and he has a video that I really like to go back to a lot about how to start a movement. Uh, and in that one there, it really talks about like the first follower and some of the important things uh, around like really starting a movement. And it's something that has resonated with me for years now. But in this video, what he talked about was, um, it was, he was talking about streets and basically how like we have our own frames and frames of mind. So um, in the US, we'll go around and we'll name our streets and we'll say, you know, I just made a, uh, a left onto Anderson Road. Um, and for other, in other places, they actually, uh, so, so you, name, you name the streets, you find yourself at the intersection, and then you find the uh, house or a place that you're looking for based on, uh, based on the street names. But in other parts of the world, they actually don't name the streets. They, they leave, those, those spaces are unnamed, and instead they name the blocks. So it's block 71, block 54, whatever it is, just depending on wherever they are uh, geographically. And one of his insights was like, it's the same thing, but in some places they like, the unnamed portions are the blocks, and the streets are what are named, and then in other places, uh, the unnamed things are the streets and the blocks are what are named. And it just really got me thinking about like, wait a minute, at the end of the day, it's still the same physical space, um, but it's just our, our point of view. Um, and I would say like now that we've been out here in Singapore for almost two months now, um, now that enjoyment has really started uh, to take shape and uh, really, when I say take shape, I mean like take shape both in my mind and in terms of the impact that it's making on others. like. It's, I'm finding myself experiencing this view of like the same thing from different, uh, different points of view. It's been very interesting to see how things continue to, um, to crystallize and to become clearer and clearer for me when it comes to, you know, the type of, uh, business that I'm looking to make, uh, and, and to run and the type of impact that I'm looking to have on others. And one of those things there has been just like, I'm out there and I'm doing the same things in, uh, from a holistic perspective in terms of helping people really uh, basically be able to uh, live a life full of fulfillment. And at the same time, I'm looking at this and I'm realizing how much of this, like, I want to define what does fulfillment actually mean? 
you know how does and like and that's not a that's a universe that's not a universal thing that's what i want to say everyone's going to have their own terms to it but how do we go about go about looking at this what is is enjoyment about just career changing is it about job changing is it about getting to the next place in your career is it about getting that promotion what is it you know and i think that um that to me is really fun because at the end of the day it's it's whatever we want it to be right i think what i have committed myself to is to serve and to serve powerfully and to be there for anyone that wants to go on to their next portion of their of their journey the way i look at it is that what i'm really looking to do is to help help the world see help people help individuals see themselves as i see them as a talented capable like multifunctioning uh person that they are and really i wrote this word down today and i'm going to share it with you because it, it happened today it happened you're getting it in real time um but i wrote this word down as it was reality creators you know i'm realizing how important it is to me to work with people who are at least willing to create their reality they may not know how they may not know exactly how it all comes about um they, but they they've seen it they've seen other people do it or they believe it they know they know that it's possible for them not to just accept the circumstances as they are i'm going to flip this around for you here so these reality creators go forth to find what they want in life to find their intentions in life and then they move forth to make that happen and in the process of making that definition and in the process of realizing those uh, those goals, they in turn feel that sense of fulfillment, feel that sense of enjoyment, uh, and when applied in a career kind of sense, uh, it continues on to enjoy. This is the first time I've said that out loud. It feels right to me, uh, and I'm just gonna go with it. I feel like that's, that's the right place to be. So um, it, it really comes down to then you say like what's enjoyment about yes you know tagline i want you to know it's about experiencing enjoyment through employment and it started out as finding enjoyment through employment but that wasn't far enough for me that wasn't enough of the reality that i wanted to create for people i want you to be able to actually live it and it's uh it's kind of interesting here me just walking through randomly here in Singapore this like what's going on here because a part of me is like oh wait like this is a reality that Nicole and I created this is this is probably the biggest thing that has been like mulling around in my mind since I was in um, in high school well actually no the real the real realization happened in college when I realized that I you know in, in high school if you don't know this in high school I overheard a group of people talking uh, uh, talking about colleges and where everyone else went off to school and they in, embedded in it, it just a sense of doubt into like you know like who is Nemo like how how is it possible that out of all of us out of all of us hard workers all out of all of us that have done great things out of all of us here in this school like Nemo's the one that went off to this college and it really it really it got it like got in my head and like in a good way but like what it what it transformed was that that you know I didn't apply myself in the, in the right way academically then about two years afterwards um, I found out that my financial aid was not going to be renewed and that got me to the point of saying like wait what do I have to show for all this here and uh, it, it kicked into a gear Neo Nemo, a new version of Nemo. Um, the cool part about all this is that, like, at the end of the day, I might call Neo Nemo. It might feel like a, a different version of, of Nemo. But, like, in school, I was Niyama. I got to college, uh, in high school, I was Niyama. I got to college, I was Nemo. And at, this, at that latter point, I became Neo Nemo, which is really just all about, at the end of the day, it's the same person, same thing, but just looking at it from different lenses, right? Um, and I think that was my first experience really seeing and understanding uh, creating your reality. Because up until that point, I had always looked at things as, well, quite, quite frankly, luck. That, like, I didn't deserve to be there. I hadn't really earned it. Uh, it was luck anyway. Uh, and, and so, like, 
the world was happening around me and I just kind of got caught up in it and I just happened to get the lucky lucky draw that time um, and since you know over the last few years we'll say over the last decade uh, to 10, 10 to 15 years has really started uh, crystallizing how much of it is what we give ourselves and what we allow ourselves to really accomplish and, and achieve yo I am really lost <laughs> really I'm, I'm gonna keep talking until I find find myself again um, but it makes me think you know how much of it is really like what we are allowing ourselves to accomplish uh, and I think that's really at the core of what I've done with actuarial journey what I've done with enjoyment part of what I well, a lot of what I love about uh, at Nexus and my time there it was really helping a group of people create their own reality when I think about culture and the uh, impact of culture on uh, on an organization and the people there you know one of the things that uh, that comes to mind and the way that I describe it to people uh, and I believe I heard it at up so I'm not gonna take the credit for it um, oh no I know where I heard it I heard it in the email by Michael Gerber which was there's a whole chapter there about the rules of the game and he talks in in that book about uh, a hotel and he, the hotel everything was work, like this seemed to run like clockwork like he got to his room uh, it had the um, the newspaper he wanted he said it was, I think it was called a newspaper a mint and a coffee or something like that it, that's like the chapter of the book but basically he was talking to the uh, one of the managers who was running the, the uh, hotel and it's like how is it that all these things come to life and it's like the owner the creator of this hotel here has created a game that's worth playing he's created the rules around this game and we all here uh, believe enough in the game and, and are energized enough in the, in the rules of the game that we keep playing and it's providing repeatable results and I think that's like in the back of my mind a lot when we talk about culture in general because every time I walked into the doors of that nexus I knew I was in almost a new world I was in a world where you know outside on on, uh, on the streets of New York like the, the same rules didn't apply you know I was there where all of a sudden we had a set of collected rules a collective rules that we agreed to a set of collective that we that we had as a company decided to to follow um you know those and it, those were our values um and it was really cool being on the people experience team in particular because in a sense i felt like i was like a uh, a champion of those values a champion of those rules um a way of making sure that the game stayed fun for people because at the end of the day that was a lot of what we were that was a lot of what was behind it all um i'm gonna take a quick break to show you what I'm seeing here because I'm a new world is open up in front of me so here I am we're at this Nassim Road here Orchard Road I'm seeing Orange Grove Road apparently that's what I've been walking on uh, and Tanglin Road so we're at the Orchard Parade Hotel uh, look that up on Google Maps um, but just really quickly here being lost this is where I ended up or sorry I haven't finished yet so this is where I am currently at let me put it that way wow this, this is kind of nice this is a nice place to be huh let's see if I can uh, get here on purpose one day <laughs> um, but I was talking about the uh, the rules of the game and the fact that the fact that you know I like like that's what that's what that the company culture to me really uh, represented or at least like that's one of the frameworks in which I consider company culture uh, and it's also one of the, the frameworks that I consider for enjoyment and what we're looking to accomplish and what what that means like from like this is a movement here around experiencing enjoyment through employment and I and like it's starting to crystallize for me that you know this is about people who are ready and willing to uh to create their own reality and the fun part is the more that i say 
that I'm looking for people who are ready to create their own reality and that's who I want to help and like like I'm at the point right now where I'm doing things that I won't be able to do in years time in months time in weeks time I'm sitting down and I'm meeting with people I'm clearing out my schedule and we're just sitting down for hours and exploring uh, what they want out of life and exploring the reality that they like to create and it is it's energizing for me I think this is like really a place where um, where I play exceptionally well it's one of my exponential strengths uh, I'm naturally curious I love to go deep uh, but on top of that I just don't feel enough people get a chance to really ask themselves the questions that um, that will move them forward and really get a chance to reflect on what they want and I'm going to just say it like to be able to put out their dreams out into the world um, and it's been an incredibly humbling experience to go through the process of just spending time with people and trying to understand how they view their current reality and what they want out of their reality. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see this. Here we go, we're hanging out here on Claymore. I, oddly enough, the reason that I am even walking down this street here is because I believe um, there's a general assembly somewhere around this area. And I had wanted to come here for uh, an event. It was called Walk About Singapore. And it was a really cool event. I actually didn't take advantage of it to the extent that I, I probably should have. Um, but what they did is that they had uh, different organizations open up their doors for a portion of the day. And uh, with that there, what happened was that you could walk into these organizations. They had set aside some part of the day. There was like a couple people that just introduce you or, or like greet you. And they walked through like what their company was. They showed you some of the different things that were going on, uh, on out there. Um, actually, I want a, a travel adapter. When I get back home, I'll, I'll make sure to, to share it and sh with all of you here. But I want a travel adapter because they said, said they asked the question at uh, Amazon Cloud Services said, or Cloud Solutions. And they said like, what is cloud computing? And no one raised their hand. I was like, I'm gonna raise my hand. I may not even know it, but I'm gonna do it. And I got a travel adapter. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, Lily, who was out there, was really kind. And she's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that, I'll make that happen. Um, so I think, I think with this here, like, I can go on about this for, for a while, but realistically, I think the, the big thing, and I appreciate y'all here, because like, generally I like, to, I like to think by, by talking. And um, I'm also looking to challenge myself to put my thoughts out in the world, not just from a, a standpoint of, uh, of connecting with people, but really to come out there and say like, hey, look, this is how I view the world. For those of you that are down with this vision, for those of you that are interested in putting this vision into life in multiple ways, like this is, I'm, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. So for any of you people who are interested in creating your own reality, and any of you are interested in even exploring what that might actually mean for you, or if you're just interested in just like, just moving forward some way in your journey and experiencing a level of fulfillment that, you know, you've seen others have and, you know, you want for yourself. Like, I love, love, love to just set aside some time and, and spend that time with you specifically. I'm out here getting lost, but I could be spending time with someone right now. Huh. Huh. I really could be. So I'm going to go do that just now. I get a chance to spend time with you, and this is absolutely wonderful. Um, y'all are great. Next time y'all come around, leave, leave, some, uh, leave some comments. Let me know what's going on. Let me know what, what, uh, what resonates with, with you around this stuff. And I'll also create more space for that to happen in the future. All right. You are amazing. Here is to experience and enjoy each and every day. Take care, y'all. Bye!